This is 7 National News in our top story this evening, the human and economic cost of maritime piracy and exploring ways to enhance the effectiveness of regional responses are the focus of the second high-level public-private UAE counter-piracy conference which began today. His Highness Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Deputy Ruler of Dubai, inaugurated the conference which is being attended by more than 400 delegates including foreign ministers, the United Nations International Maritime Organization, industry leaders welfare organizations and academic experts. According to the EU Naval Force, which provides escorts to merchant vessels sailing through piracy-infested waterways, there are more than 200 seafarers currently held hostage by Somali pirates. There have been around 30 incidents involving pirates so far this year, compared with 176 during 2011. While the pirate success rate has been halved from 28% in 2009 to 14% last year, the level of violence used on seafarers has escalated. It is so important, the uh, counter piracy conference, this is the second one, and we, our goal is to raise awareness about the gravity and the suffering of the people held today. I mean, all of us are enjoying our life, and there are people who are living in the worst situations. Uh, raising awareness will create actions to hopefully release these people. Well, we are working with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who are really taking a very active role, uh, personally by His Highness uh, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed. At the same time, we're working with many of the stakeholders, the shipping lines, to raise awareness and hopefully many of the governments uh, have done something. And you noticed since the first conference, the number of uh, attacks have reduced. Uh, yes, the number of people died, unfortunately, increased. But there are reasons behind this. This year is more important uh, because, for example, last year it was more on global and international responses. This year, it's about regional responses and public-private initiatives to be conducted on the ground in Somalia. So it's about getting the Arab states, particularly the GCC, with the UAE in the lead uh, to invest in Somalia and to find a regional solution. Government can only do so much. Militaries can only go so far. Uh, and the shipping industry, the insurance industry, and others, uh, everybody needs to get on the same page. Emirates will add a total of 73 additional flights to and from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia during Ramadan. A total of 59 additional flights will operate to and from Jeddah throughout Ramadan, with Medina Al Munawara receiving 14 extra services during the same time period. The extra services will be in operation from the 20th of July till the 1st of September this year. The additional flights will be serviced by a mixture of Boeing 777s and A330 aircrafts in a three-class configuration. Friends of Cancer Patients has received a 1 million dirham check from Abu Dhabi National Islamic Finance, the Islamic finance and banking arm of the National Bank of Abu Dhabi. Friends of Cancer Patients is an affiliate of the Health and Education Department of the Supreme Council for Family Affairs and received the check today at a discussion panel held at the Council in Sharjah. At the event, the FOCP revealed their upcoming activities and future aspirations, which include expanding their services to treat the largest number of people with cancer possible, as well as an increase in awareness campaigns across the country. The whole idea of today, putting uh, uh, Abu Dhabi Bank and all the beneficiaries of the zakat money, is to introduce, um, is to introduce and to make people understand that zakat as a Sharia uh, corner of Islam is very important for uh, people uh, like cancer patients and also people with special needs. People don't know that zakat can be given uh, for cancer patient, for needy cancer patient, and for also uh, special needs people and uh, this is today is more of an awareness for people uh, about this issue and the Department of Administrative Affairs at the Roads and Transport Authority has recently held an awareness campaign in cooperation with the Dubai Health Authority about diabetes and how to guard against the disease. The campaign allowed RTA employees and external customers to participate in free tests to measure their levels of sugar, blood pressure and weight and is part of the community-orientated initiatives undertaken by the department in cooperation with various agencies and government entities in Dubai. Officials from the DHA continued to urge the community to undergo testing and highlighted the importance of taking appropriate consultations from medical staff in a bid to curb the prevalence of diabetes, which is still on the rise. 
Up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.